Hey guys, welcome to Higan Eruthil, and we have new banners dropping tomorrow, May 5th. Before we go on to this uh, character here named Aaron, let's go first to um, the two other banners. Uh, first and foremost is going to be the play. Okay, this play is going to be a rate up for Vita. So this play is actually going to be um, a one-time increase in HP. It's a 40% increase in HP when your HP goes below a certain threshold. I think it's 35%. Um, but this is only for one time. Okay, so uh, just going to give you guys my thoughts early on. I don't think this banner is worth pulling at this point. So... Um, you can wait for other banners. Just don't pull for this one or uh, save up. So that is it for the play. For the SSR character rate up, I won't... <laughs> okay. So if you're planning to build Fen, uh, technically Fen is not really good for PvP. She is going to be excellent for PvE only. Uh, don't really recommending her build uh, you guys building her for PvP for those who want copies of her then this is your banner but again uh, if you cannot get a character useful for both PvP and PvE I don't think it's worth the investment uh, in the end so if you got her from an off banner pull probably you spent a uh, dollar on you know the first banner for fan that would be probably it but uh i highly discourage you guys from pulling for this banner unless if you're really into fan and if you want to get more copies of her again she's not really effective in pvp so let's go back to this main banner here limited ssr rate up let's go first with the uh, hathor hathor is another this is another uh, rate up that this is her second time as a rate up in a banner okay the first one was with Surslet. uh this one i'm not really recommending this one uh i don't not not, not i'm sorry not, uh, i didn't mean that i i meant what i meant was i don't like her being in a rate up again there are other rate ups that are good or better like Queen, like Armand, they could have shuffled it around and not put Hathor here again. So I'm actually kind of disappointed um, that she's here again as the SR rate up. But we have a new character, which is Aaron SSR. The problem, the problem is she is, again, fire. We do have a lot of fire units already but uh, let's uh, let's take a look at uh, his kit and uh, you know uh, try to uh, probably discuss if he is worth an addition SSR a fire SSR to your roster or not so here you go so here he is and um, let me just take a look at how he looks he has Thor's hammer and he has a amputated hand with a hmm, a claw. He looks like a blacksmith, actually. So let's take a look at how he is classified as. So he's classified as a hoplite. So we're expecting more damage from him. But again, we have Surslet right now. So I hope that his kit is going to be unique so let's take a look at uh the first skill which is his passive so Aaron blows his forging flame to his ally get grant granting them author shield iron gains 20 percent bonus ad 35 percent bonus attack speed and 20 percent crit rate if there is an if there is a guardian character okay so this one really gives him more offense if you don't have a guardian character in your team uh, this is a passive so this takes effect as soon as the battle starts if not then iron max maxes max hp is increased by 40 armor increased by 60 
and damage taken reduced by 45 to all allies damage taken reduced by five basically what this says is if you don't have a guardian he will be your guardian because he tanks he's a hoplite tank he's a convertible hoplite tank so auto shield a, a unit with auto shield would have their 60 percent damage taken being shared by iron this effect lasts for seven seconds so this is nice he is the um damage sharing okay uh, i would give this kit um his passive a little bit of the uniqueness so he is convertible basically into a guardian if you don't have a guardian in play with him in the team if you have a guardian he adds additional um bonuses in ad bonuses in attack speed and crit rate so which makes him a hoplite basically with bonuses so let's uh, take a look at basic attack so basic attack is 280 to enemies which is actually uh, kind of large already um for his active skill the first one otter roll arm puts his nearby allies into a wrecking ball then propels the ball to the target enemy and deals physical physical damage equal to mm, nice damage big one 80 also the enemy hit will be stunned for two seconds iron and the wrecking ball will take 50 percent less damage and knock back all enemies on route this is nice this is a good um this is a good uh pvp skill let's take a look at the other one forging and smelting as i've said he is he works in the forge so he's a smith hammersmith uh i think so so iron raises his banner uh his hammer over overhead to activate his shield dealing physical damage equal to 200 and nearby enemies inflicting one stack of forging flame flame on them also apply smelting whose equal stacks burning on the target and nearby us again 50 percent bonus ad within 10 seconds this is also nice he has he has buffs in his kit okay the unit under forging flame takes true damage continuously with 60 seconds reduce the affected unit's p damage mitigation by five the effect lasts for 10 seconds this is nice i would put him in a team with serious lit actually this is 50% bonus AD. This one is the passive. So if you put him with Surslet, basically he becomes your tank. Okay, interesting. And the last one is the ultimate Craftsman's Domain. Aaron imbues himself with divine power launches. Festus Craft. After which he challenges for six seconds. If he challenges for duration, he gains forty percent bonus armor and uh, magic resistance. Effect lasts forever. Lasts forever. Max three stacks. This is nice. He's really he's really a, a guardian in a hoplite's body. Additional HP of Iron's AD. When it is broken, it will stun for three seconds. So there is a there is a negative effect for his ultimate. Hmm. This is just actually my first glance of his uh, kit. So first impression. If you do have Surslet, then I don't think you'll need him. He's a nice character to add adds more toughness to your fire team if you put both of them in he will act as your guardian if you don't have a guardian if you want to go all fire then he'll be your pseudo guardian basically but again if you want more offense from him you're not getting it unless you put a guardian with him so his kit is a bit okay his kit is a bit um 
on the iffy side, um, you don't really need the guardian. We have a lot of guardians already. So if but if you use him for as a hoplite, I don't think he'll have much damage compared to Sirslet, but he will have more survivability definitely. So you're gonna be using him more with together with another hoplite, not really with a guardian. Um, sorry, you're yeah together with the hoplite, so that he increases his uh, durability, survivability. Um, you could you could actually pair him with Sirslet if you do want to bring him in your team. So yeah, he he's a nice addition. But is he a must pull? At this point, I'm. I would say no. I'd probably skip him. At this point, he's not really a game changer. Um, he's not really a game changer at this point. We have a lot of guardians. So, those are my thoughts, guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on Aaron? Uh, give me your thoughts. These are just my first impressions, guys. I need to test him out. Um, I might be wrong with Aaron, so please don't blame my my assessment of him. As for face value of his kit, um, not really a must draw, but he is nice to have. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.